Alright, hello everyone, and welcome out to Watercolor Video Artist Vlog. And today we're going to go over this painting here, back there behind my shoulder. Um, we're going to look at using different color underpaintings. And in this case, I've got uh, an aqua, and then I've got a yellow in the middle, and then I've got magenta there off to the, uh, the right side of the painting, uh, left side here facing us, but. Um, right side if you're facing the canvas. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so here I've already got the canvas coated in yellow, and you've seen my other video with um, just straight yellow as well and how I cover that. And I, yes, I did paint directly, apply the paint directly onto the canvas. So I'm just showing here the, uh, the lighter um, turquoise color and then the magenta. Now that middle part I know is going to be a, a scene of a uh, an ocean scene of a surfer and a beach scene. And I just want to have these different colors in the background as part of a wall, an exterior wall. And there I've I've got the uh, the color of the wall coating over these other colors. And I just want a little bit of that to show through. And so to have this certain effect of like an old, um, an old wall you know, with paint um, that's gone over it. Now here I'm masking off uh, the middle painting. So this is basically a painting within a painting. And this is the, the, uh, the inside painting with the, the ocean scene here. Again, masking off the horizon and getting everything square. Filling in this wave and then the middle ground in this picture uh, with the middle wave there and this particular now I don't usually put surfers in my paintings but in this case I'm adding a surfer in here um, it's just tiny and I'm using this little teeny uh, the zero I think this particular one is a is a, a four out um, like a four slash zero I think you call it four out that's how we um, call it in fly fishing, fly tying thread is uh, you, know, you have one out, two out, which is just like one over zero or two over zero. This brush is like a four over zero, I believe. Just super tiny. Getting into these little details. A little shaky hand there. And we've got this other wave in white wash or white water. This broken wave, and I'm creating a shadow underneath this uh, this whitewash. So, um, so yeah, this yellow works out because I want these blues to be a little bit brighter. These blue and blue green. So this yellow underpainting works out well. And this I'm scumbling quite a bit because I know that this is just going to be, you know, a a distant picture. Um, now going over some of the shadow areas in the white water and I'm using a little bit of um, a darker brown. Um, I think it's burnt umber with some white mixed into it. And now I'm going over the foreground area here of the water putting in the reflections of this whitewash and the there's multiple coatings or multiple um, paints in this uh, um, foreground area the first is that blue underneath and then I've got this white over it and now I'm creating these um, reflections of this uh, this white water um, the soup the broken white water into this flatter area of um, um, water with foam on top of it. So that's another layer of that uh, that reflection, and I think this is about the fourth layer here. This blue, which is just part of the water color, the, the color of the water, and now the foam is going in with this white. There's also another layer which I'll put on later on, which I should have put in here. 
and that is the reflection of the darker colors um, that's caused by the uh, the whitewash or the white water wave there and now the the white water foam is going in and I like uh, these colors with this um, yellow um, undercoat and you see some of that yellow coming through causing this green uh, in that wave there and now here's the picture frame in brown uh, like I said this is a picture within a picture like you saw at the, the start of this video and I'm marking off where this figure is going to be standing um, starting off with the head and as usual the order um, which I paint is the sky first because it's farthest away and then the, uh, the water closest to the horizon and I'm working my way forward towards the eye and we're done with this uh, masking tape um, hoping the, the, the frame of this is square and I'm putting in now um, this uh, this figure's clothing and kind of sketching out where the rest of it's going to be and if I'm not sure sometimes I'll use a pencil in this case I did use a pencil and I go back over it with um, with the blue just to be sure and mark it off here I'm going over the frame frame colors I'm putting in the, the highlights and shadow uh, more highlight than shadow in this particular case here I'm using a, a burnt umber and this is acrylic of course so I know that's going to dry quickly and so I move uh, fairly quick. well um, the video here is um, is in fast mode too as well so um, it's not actual time and uh, in this part here I'm trying to keep a steady hand but I'm shaky but that's okay um, to, to be not so perfect to have it uh, hand drawn that's the effect that I go for so you see a lot of waviness happening and that's perfectly fine if I wanted it straight I'll use a, a mall stick or, or a ruler of some sort straight edge here I've got the shadow coming in on the wall the shadow of this uh, this frame this painting and the, the shadow color against this wall a little bit darker with the burnt umber mixed in with some blue uh, probably ultramarine and um, some white mixed in with some black and now I'm putting in this figure I'm just first starting in a base coat which is kind of a mid-tone later on I'll come in with a darker blue and a, a lighter for the highlights and shadow I'm looking for um, this uh, this figure's coat and where the, the pants are going to start and this uh, figure I put in a darker color pant which is kind of off um, the screen um, well what I mean by off is like it's not very important um, being kind of um, off to the uh, the side there so the um, the focus of this piece is going to be this person's torso and head and also the painting as well the, the person or the, the painting that he is staring at and this is um, you know just one hand kind of painting in this guy's gesture and you'll notice some of the the blue against that shadow there um, I've got a broken edge so that's um, just kind of an edge treatment as well uh, I don't have a perfect edge on this I kind of break it up in some areas uh, there at the bottom of the pants as well and now I'm coming in with some color on this this guy's coat I think uh, he's it's cold outside like today it's a little bit rainy outside being Friday here in, uh, in Southern California these areas here of highlight with a light coming over 
this person's left shoulder and the, uh, the, the right side of this figure is darkened with shadow with the head and uh, the, the flesh tones and um, so yeah I've got uh, some bold brush strokes that I want to leave um, not blended with acrylic I, that's the reason why I use acrylic in this painting is um, the acrylics ability to, to not mix I don't want it to mix I just want it straight um, just having the brush strokes as is and here I'm putting in some red and uh, some other colors uh, just to um, add some style to it to stylize um, uh, making it painterly and here I'm doing the same thing down in this uh, this lower um, hip and pant area as well uh, that uh, that strange um, reflection was just um, me um, not blocking the light and that's it uh, finishing it off there you can see the uh, the magenta coming through underneath um, this lighter um, top coat and I like the effects as well uh, on the other side with the, the, the turquoise color and the yellow coming through on that painting the uh, the ocean painting as well and I'm struggling to get this uh, this number two three uh, meaning 2000 uh, 23 there it is and you can see the uh, yellow undercoat there coming through I kind of scratched an area with the other side of my brush um, to uh, include some kind of shading there and uh, there on the, the left side you've got that turquoise coming through as an undercoat and it worked out quite nicely so I hope this uh, helps you guys out and uh, using an undercoat different color underpainting in your uh, works as well alright you guys hope you enjoyed this painting and I'll catch you in the next one alright take care bye bye